Today, we're announcing a new technique where we've been able to open the bottleneck to access the mother load and deliver to you more than 20 times as many planets as have ever been found and announced at once previously. 715 newly verified planets. These are all in multiple planet systems, and they're orbiting 305 different stars. It increases the total number of planets known to humanity to nearly 1,700, and indeed, a majority of the planets now known to humanity are Kepler discovered. This plot shows that they first came in one by one, a little trickle in the 1990s, and they've come in at a more and more rapid rate, such that in past few years, we've had over 100 per year. And this plot shows that in the past few years also, the Kepler planets emphasized here in red have been making up a bigger share. The reason we're seeing a lot more small sub-Neptune-sized planets is that planets that size are much more common than Jupiter size. But our detection techniques of transits are best for planets close to the stars. And therefore, if you just look at the raw numbers of planets found, and this is especially true if you just use the first few years of data, you're going to get a strong bias towards those close-in systems of planets that are a little larger than Earth.